The Asian American Pacific Islander Nurses Association of Nevada presents Healthy Mondays with Apina of Nevada. Start the week healthy and right with interesting conversations on living a healthy lifestyle. And now, your Healthy Mondays host, Dr. Mary Faye Axon Armstrong. Uh, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig sa Healthy Mondays with the Apina of Nevada. I'm yours truly, Dr. Verite Axon Armstrong, founding president of the Apina of Nevada and professor at Roseman University College of Nursing. Thank you again uh, for listening to us. Uh, every Monday is special. All of our guests are special, but truly tonight is very special to my heart because we are going to be talking to my very best friend from the Philippines. She's all the way. We're talking to her right now um, from Pinangona Rizal, Philippines. So she had uh, given me a cue here. So have you ever imagined yourself filled with buttons all over your body from head to foot? And what connection does this imagery have with our topic tonight? Yes, today, tonight we would touch upon on reflex therapy. It's an alternative medicine, which is a natural healing method, which makes use of the technique of pressing on certain points of the body. Very exciting thing. So there is body reflexology, ear therapy, hand and foot ref ref reflexology, so many things. Wow. So it's going to be exciting touching your body and finding your buttons. So uh, tonight, I have my very best friend, best friend forever, BFF from the Philippines. Hello, Sister Tete. Hello and good evening, everyone. Hello, Feng. Yes, I am Sister Maria Teresa, a Filipina sister of the Sisters of the Poor of St. Catherine of Siena. Uh, well, I grew up in Binawanan, and Mary and I were classmates. We have become very close friends, along with other uh, barcadas, no? other girls, where we studied in Binawanan Catholic High School. Uh, our grandmothers, Lola Sirin and Lola Unday, were quite distant relatives, but they have become also very good friends then. Um, well, I am so thankful to the Lord and to my best friend, Mary Fen, for this opportunity given me to share with you something about the wonders of reflex therapy or reflexology. Well, most probably, uh, many of you by now must have heard of this, but here is to encourage you or stimulate you once, once more to consider the very efficacious and even miraculous benefits that it can give to your health. Yes, thank you for that. Very nice introduction, Sister Tete. And uh, mga kababayan niya, uh, Sister Tete and I grew up uh, in the Philippines, uh, elementary and high school. And uh, as you know, she's uh, with the Sisters of the Poor of St. Catherine in Siena. And our uh, Roseman University students are actually planning to go to Binawana Rizal for our mission trip in December. We're still praying about it to see if there's a feasibility still to go there in, in December. But tonight, you know, I had asked uh, Sister Tete to share with us the history about reflex therapy because she's been telling me about it and she's been sharing with our friends and uh, our classmates about the benefit of reflex therapy. Um, it, later on, we're going to show you some video snippets on how to actually uh, do it. And Sister had uh videoed some would even have color uh, on your fingers um well let me uh have sister tete share her history her humble beginnings she's also a registered nurse from uh the philippines so go ahead sister tete share with them uh your humble beginnings okay well uh, speaking about, about my nursing course i finished nursing at the university of santa Tomas in manila in 1981. I passed the board exams when I was 19, but instead of working as a nurse, I helped instead in our family business because my mother, uh, we have a family owned uh, drugstore. My mother was a pharmacist then. You know? In 1986, however, I entered the convent in response to the religious calling that I had. 
and joined the religious family of the Sisters of the Poor. And by 1990, I was sent to Italy. And it was there then that I got to practice my nursing profession as I helped uh, in our home for the aged in Rome and elsewhere, where I took care of the people as well as uh, my co-sisters who are aged. Yeah, it's, uh, I looked it up, sister, the uh, home for the aged. And then in, uh, in Italy, in Italian, it's Casa di Reposo. Yes, it's Casa di Reposo, home for the aged. And I know that uh, when we were talking about uh, possibly having this interview, you mentioned about um, the reflex therapy as more preventive than curative. But then um, you have some stories. Can you share us some stories about how the reflex therapy helps some people that um, approach you about it? Uh, actually, Peng, it's not only preventive, it's also curative. No? Uh, if you would allow me, I'll tell the story how I got to know uh, more of reflex therapy. No? Yeah, By, the, yeah. By the year 1988, a group of reflexologists from Spain came over to Rome, Italy, and some sisters from our congregation were sent to participate to their intensive course on the reflexology. And that's why I remember the head of the team, Father Sebastian, a Spanish priest, sharing the origin of such a missionary and they were on his part to promote the natural method of reflexology. He said that he is a diabetic and uh, he had the danger of losing his eyesight then. And he almost lost his, uh, his, one of his legs also. So through reflex therapy, he was spared from all these. No? And in his gratitude to God, he had also an inspiration to share this to the church and to the third world, thinking... Uh, it might help our poor brothers and sisters. So we asked for permission from the Vatican, which was given to him. And so he formed a group, a team of reflexologists then. And after years of training, a core group was formed. And one time, together with Laurentian priests, they were able to help, just imagine, 11 Filipino children who were then suffering from leukemia. And they were, they were healed through reflex therapy. Wow, yeah. that's very powerful. So it's actually, Peng, it's really my earnest desire to uh, have this natural way of healing be known and promoted, you know, so, so that many more people will get uh, its benefit. You know? I got a lot of personal experiences to share about the potency and the wide range of uh, cures from simple headaches Past healing of wounds, stuff and colds, to spinal cord ailments, depression, pneumonia, etc., etc., and even with the prevention of strokes and heart attacks. No? Actually, it's not only curative, it's prophylactic and preventive too. Um, in Italy, certain doctors begin to integrate conventional therapy with this alternative medicine, or they discovered that better, even best results come out from the combination of these two method approach yeah, in treating their patients. Mm -hmm. That's very uh, timely. I know that we're going to um, focus on the respiratory. <clears throat> so you're yeah. mentioning about, so we're going to show a video about um, <clears throat> reflex for respiratory tract. Yes the demonstration of the method as well as how to do uh, the points necessary for uh, the treatment. Hello everyone, here we would like to teach uh, the reflex points necessary for the treatment of upper and lower respiratory tract uh, problems. It can also, we can also deal with colds, cough and colds or flu. No? So here we have the reflex point of the lungs, the bronchial tubes, no? point of maximum efficiency, the lymphatics, no? 
of the head, thorax, and abdominal region, these red uh, colored areas. Uh, these ones refer to the treatment area for colds and for the replenishment acquisition of energy. This one is also for the lungs. No? Just to indicate also the area of the kidneys. No? Um, kidney area, the surrenal glands or adrenalines, and the solar plexus. No? We need to remember that we will start uh, the massage with the left hand first and then with the right. No? Same areas of these can be massaged also in the right hand. Okay, And these areas also can be found in this um, left hand. Okay. So there you have it, our listeners out there. So Sister Tedet had shared um, a demonstration about reflex therapy for respiratory tract. And I know that you wanted to talk about, Sister Ted, about this period of pandemic. Oh, yeah. No, on this period of pandemic, we hope that this kind of natural therapy can, can be considered so that it can contribute to a faster healing as well as possibility of prevention of uh, contacting the disease, no? We need not neglect the importance of conventional medicine and other nursing measures, of course. Personally, I also believe in holistic approach no? with regards to illness, mind, body, and spirit approach. That is why in helping people who ask help for some health concerns, I also advise them uh, or teach them various methods like energy medicine, ear therapy, the use of steam inhalation and simple gargle solutions, the importance of right diet, even the use, hulaan mo, mga bawang, no? even the use of garlic, Ali. onion, and some medicinal plants. No? But of course, and first and foremost, we believe in the power of prayer. Yes, the power of prayers. Um, and I know that... Uh, I'm also a strong advocate of mind, body, and spirit. The holistic view in um, caring and uh, patient care. So thank you, um, Sister Tetet, for pointing that out. Uh, can you share with us a specific situation, uh, how the reflex therapy uh, was very uh, useful? I know you have, uh, can you talk to us about that 70 year old um, person? Yes. 17. Yes. <laughs> it's December, last December, uh, there had been this incident wherein, just imagine a 17 year old lad had his blood pressure soar up to 140 over 100. Uh -huh. uh, he was already having a sort of uh, heaviness in his chest, no? And uh, having the numbness in his arms and hands, no? But before bringing him to the doctor, that was night, no? We strive to use for some of those means I've mentioned before in our efforts to lower down the blood pressure and prevent stroke or heart attack, no? It's funny, but uh, we really use chopped garlic. We did energy medicine, tapping exercises, and reflex therapy. I... I massaged him on the left hand in this area, no? here, no? for a few minutes. We continued doing so, doing the cycle of these uh, methods until in less than 30 minutes, he felt better. He went to the comfort room and then uh, he felt much better uh, in less than 30 minutes. And then we measured the uh, blood pressure. It has dropped down. Slowly it dropped down, but he was feeling well already. No, the following day I asked him, "Did you really feel better?" No, and he said, "Yes." Immediately I felt relief. No, so I thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for uh, for this miraculous way. He was the one who healed using also these therapies, no? using us. So 
So it, it really is in our, our nursing education. We also um, teach our student about alternative medicine and alternative um, therapy. And this is one that uh, people out there, our listeners, that uh, something that's an option. Uh, sometimes, you know, with that high blood pressure, uh, because it's so high, just imagine it, the person would be higher risk for stroke. Yes, in fact, heart attack. No. And so yes. a lot of times, you know, the elevated blood pressure is from stress. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's really because our arteries are blocked because of eating, you know, high cholesterol, high fat um, mm -hmm. foods in our diet. Uh, there is also, um, I think you also have some personal experience. Did you want to share with us your personal experience using the reflex therapy? Uh, yeah, uh, I used to get, I used to get colds, no? And when I have one, matagal ba ako mapagaling? Pero simula nung uh, ako ay matuto na ng reflex therapy, uh, mas madali na ang pagpapagaling sa akin ng codes, no? Uh, uh, one time, I really, it was marvelous for me kasi um, na, I had an attack of codes. I was already suffering from fever, runny nose, headache, sore throat, painful joints even, no? And that I have applied uh, reflex therapy, no? But I also took uh, paracetamol no? And interestingly, it took me only practically one day to be healed. No? Unbelievable, unbelievable, but true. No? It can drive away from our body's toxins, bacteria, and even viruses. No? And after that massage, we have to drink a lot of water. Actually, at least a glass full of water because the toxins get eliminated through the urinary system. And that uh, other times, this natural method aids in healing flu or cup and colds at a faster rate. You know? uh, healing becomes faster, actually. Marami pa akong pwedeng maikwento. Kaya lang, uh, limited time tayo. Kaya, what I want to uh, let's say and what I want to share is that sana mag, uh, mag research sila. They may, they may have more interest in this kind of alternative medicine na, na pwede makatulong, no? Para mas, mag, mas maging healthy, uh, mas maging maayos din ang body natin. No? So we have, uh, I, I'm not sure whether you wanted to show the hand therapy. There's a foot massage or uh, there's a lower back and stomach. So uh, maybe we can show one, um, you want to show the foot reflex? Yeah. And yeah. So we're, we're going to show you a video snippet where uh, Sister Tetet uh, demonstrate about uh, foot reflex and back problems. Ito po namin ang reflex therapy para sa lower back pains. Ito po ang area ng spinal cord. Dito po ang sa lymphatics, no? So, itutulo ko lang po ang way of massage. You can use your thumb. Dula ng mga fingers or use an object like this, no? So, ito po ang pagmasahe mula dito pataas. Ganyan po. Ha? Tuturo ko po yung masahe. Hahanapin niyo po yung lugar na masakit at babalik-balikan niyo po yung lugar na masakit, no? Ayan po. Dito. Pababa. Or. Ha? Hanapin po. Or, pwede pong po ganyan. At pag halimbawa, isang minuto po gano'n ang method nyo, susunod po dyan ay pakurot naman po para yung lumalabas po ng mga nerve endings noon sa spinal cord or spine... Uh, spinal column ay inyong mamasahe. No? So, ganyan. Pero i-repeat nyo po ang cycle na iyan later. Ito po ang sa lymphatics ng abdominal cavity. For any problem ng lower back, lower limbs, and abdominal cavity, kailangan po ito masahin. Press, 
well, press well, and then light pressure upwards. Press again, and light pressure upwards. No? Ang general massage, pwede po na papindot siya na ganito. No? O baba. Pero pwede din po na gamitan nyo naman na another object like this. No? Actually, inyo po, ang pressure po ay mula dito sa area to hanggang doon lang. So, sige, pressure, press, up to that point. Then control, hindi nyo po bibigyan ng pressure mula dito hanggang doon. Kaya laging ganun po, ganun po. Bigisang minuto. Okay. Yung po ay around 20 times. I repeat, 20 times na gagawin. Hindi 20 minutes. No? Sa ganun para ano, masahin nyo ibang pressure points or reflex points ng ibang organs. Nakakatulong po yun sa pagpapagaling ng any problem ng lower back. So, yun po lamang sa ngayon. Marami pong salamat. Okay, maybe Sister Tetet uh, will explain to us what we have shown. Okay, uh, what you have seen is a video I did in order to help somebody, a friend of ours who was suffering from a low back pain, from low back pains actually. For four days, he wasn't able to, to walk. No? So, para makatulong, in order to help, uh, we made this video and sent this uh, to her, uh, to his wife, so that uh, the wife can do this for him. Actually, the massage can be done by ourselves if we can reach to our foot or feet. If we can reach our, uh, of course, if we can do it in our hands, no. But otherwise, if somebody else can do it, no, it's also. Um, so, Yung gaya ng ginawa kang hina, no, it's just to follow. Because um, massage, uh, the way of massaging is easy enough you know, to learn. Yun. Just, just like the uh, uh, massage. Ah, you know, sister, oh, in a matter of uh, two days after I sent that, no, she, they were already telling me, oh, the following day, he was feeling better already after one day of massage, no? And after two days, he's almost totally healed, na. He's, uh -huh. He has healed, really, no? So we thank the Lord because uh, really, he, he, is, he has given us already in our bodies also the possibility of healing, no? It's all from Him. Mm -mm. We really have uh, natural chemicals in our body. You know, yeah. natural opiates, like when your body is uh, so stressed out, um, we have this fight or flight theory. Uh, yeah. Either your body will fight it or your body will give up. But before your body will give up for you, you have a lot of chemicals that are within your body system that could fight for you. And then I think, you know, if I think about it, I think when you're pressing your fingers, you're releasing, you're opening the channels to allow oh. the chemicals to move around. Yeah. Yes, so. and circulation gets better also, no? Mm -mm. So um, there is here that um, you wanted to cite a part of the conclusion made by Mildred Carter? Yes, yes. If Please allow me to cite part of this, uh, of the conclusion made by Mildred Carter, one of the pioneers in this field in the United States, no? in one of her books on reflexology, she said, please keep in mind that the real purpose of attaining a healthy long life is to recognize the higher divine purposes for which we were born. Perfect health would be wasted unless the healthy body is used as a temple for our spirit to develop in. Our life on this planet is a schooling period to enable us to improve and perfect our human and divine characteristics. Wow, that is powerful. Very well said you know, by Mildred Carter. And I know that um, there is this basic rule that you mentioned um, earlier when we were talking before the broadcast 
Uh, the basic rule is, if it hurts, massage it out. Whether yes. one needs it or not, it works. <laughs> oh, importante, purbahan. You try, no? Even yeah. the seniors can try. Just try massaging and pressing your hands, even though you do not know uh, the map, no? The important thing is you try massaging your hands, no? Pressing it, and then you'll just return to where it hurts and massage it out, as the rule says, no? And afterwards, in a matter of hours or even a day or two, you will notice a change in your system, no? You'll feel better also. Okay, hope this can help many, no? In addition to that, you make sure that you eat healthy because you know you still need to drink uh, fluids, water, at least uh, four to six, I think, eight ounces of water, and then you still need to make sure that you eat properly. You know, good yes. diet and yes. exercise. Mm -hmm. In fact, they were saying even before reflex therapy, not diet is number one. No, mm -hmm. so need not uh, forget the, those important things also for good health <laughs> i know uh i know that we're talking about reflex therapy and i hope our listeners out there are picking up some important information to keep yourself healthy a sister tethered is saying um even though the video is showing that somebody is massaging somebody's hand or somebody's foot you can certainly do it on yourself you know, yes, sometimes yes. you're all alone and then you feel that and then you just massage, you just follow the instruction. Um, there's mm -hmm. also opportunities to research about it. I know one time I was having a headache and I said, oh, I remember what Sister Tetet was saying. So I started ma massaging my ears. But you have a lot <laughs> of pressure points in your ears, right? So I was just starting massaging it. And then I said, um, there was one that you said about tapping. And then I started tapping my forehead. Because it says that uh, right here is connected to your uh, sinuses, right? So mm. sometimes there's a clog or sometimes there's pressure by your uh, sinuses right here. So I was tapping my forehead like this. Mm -hmm. Then it hurt a little bit and then it, it relaxes me. So I went to bed and sleep. <laughs> so it really, you know. <laughs> So, yan naman gusto kong ano natuturuan kasi they apply it. <laughs> yes, I mean, you know, share it and then it's really you have to do it in order you to be comfortable to do, doing it. No? And you'll see the difference after, no? Uh, it really works, no? <laughs> and I know you have our, so, our friends, our uh, Kabarkada, you also mentioned about one of them had called you about... Uh, yeah. Because everybody is so paranoid about when they start having, when they start coughing, when they start yeah. having fever, you don't know whether it's regular common cold or you already have the coronavirus. So uh, yeah. you just have to, uh, you know, relax and then um, understand the symptoms for the coronavirus. Yeah. Yes. So thank you, Sister Tetet, for sharing with us about the reflex therapy. But since you're in the Philippines, since you're in Binangon and Rizal, can you share with us what's happening out there? No. Actually, yes. here in Binangon, no, our government, our local government is trying their best to help the people control the spread of the disease, immediately separate cases, no? Um, uh, here in Binangonan, still the number of cases is increasing. No? Um, but the thing is, we try to, to have the control somehow no? with regards to... Napaka-importante pa rin. What's really important is that we really stay home no? and avoid contacts as much as possible. Although it is not that e easy for us. Here in our uh, convent, for example, in order to protect especially the children whom we are helping, no? we also observe this quarantine. No? But um, as for now, uh, in the Philippines, no? unfortunately, the number of cases is growing. But we still hope, we prayerfully hope that uh, this may uh, lessen and the condition may improve. Uh, 
for that reason, no, what's important what is important is our efforts still, no? It can contribute. What uh, contribution can we give, no? In order to help our people, no? For us, of course, religious prayer is number one. But uh, it's also the reason why on my part, personally, I want to contribute something, no? So that people may be aware of uh, certain things that may um, help them or uh, they may might be dangerous for them, no? Napakahalaga din ang information talaga, no? So itong inyong serbisyo, your service, is uh, really very, very important because it is through knowledge that we may get to understand things and also uh, avoid doing things or do things that are more proper for us to do. No? So salamat sa inyong contribution dahil ang Diyos tinutulungan tayo through this. No? Uh, may the Lord uh, help us be instruments of this goodness, love, and healing to people. Thank, thank you very much, no? Uh, and thank you to Johan too, no? I really enjoy doing this. Uh, I really enjoy this doing this show because I know that we can reach a lot of people. And you are so right, Sister Tete. Information, knowledge is powerful. It can actually save lives. And uh, I always encourage our listeners out there if you get information on the media, on the social media, wherever, you need to discern what is um, the truth or false information. So you have to research, you know, use common sense. Um, just because they're saying, oh, this medication or this drink will help you not to have coronavirus, then you have to research it. You have to be mm -hmm. smart about it, be wise about it. And I know the reflex therapy that Sister Ted has shared with us, it's not a medication, it's not going to harm you, it's, it's something simple, it's natural, it's a natural healing through reflex therapy. So that is the topic of our show tonight, the natural healing through reflex therapy with Sister Maria Teresa Pinesa Alvarez. Um, if you're just joining us, we're almost uh, done with our show. She is from uh, the Sisters of the Poor of St. Catherine in Siena. And she is joining us tonight from Binoan and Rizal, Philippines. So that's my hometown. So maraming salamat, Sister Tete, for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. And, uh, maraming salamat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so maybe, you know, I always ask this from our um, guests. Uh, do you have any last words of wisdom? to our listeners out there? Okay. Uh, what I would say would be, uh, let us all be, let's all have our hearts open no? to receive light from the Lord. No? Uh, in this time of uh, difficulty, a pandemic, uh, we have all fears. No? But we need to get strength from above, no? from the Lord. Uh, we need to have His light so that we may have right choices. We cannot just be, not just allow ourselves to be overcome by fear, but uh, have that inner strength within us coming from above and ask ourselves what is best for us to do? What good am I being asked to do? in this moment of difficulty, no? So let's try to be, how to say, at peace still, no? And trust in the Lord, no? We'll all uh, have, uh, how to say, we'll all get through all this with the Lord's help and with one another's help, no? There are still a lot of positive things happening, also, also happening because also of these, no? So, uh, let's have faith. Thank you, Peng, so much for this wonderful opportunity again. So thank you, Sister Tete. So there's, there's a divine purpose of why this coronavirus is happening. And uh, Sister, sure. Sister Tete is saying, faith over fear. Yeah. So do not allow the fear to overcome you. Yeah, pray uh -huh. and 
and also do something uh, that is to your advantage to protect you from the coronavirus. If you're mm -hmm. going to be outside, still wear your mask. You know, it's better safe than sorry. And yeah, uh, yeah. don't kiss anybody that's outside your household. <laughs> I, I'm mm -hmm. just, you know, my students are just laughing at me about that. But time flies when we're having fun. That's my cue. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig sa amin. We had just mm -hmm. brought to you um, natural healing through reflex therapy with my good friend, childhood friend from the Philippines, uh, Sister Tetet, um, Maria Teresa, uh, Pinesa Alvarez from Binawan and Rizal. So remember, uh, thank you PHLB Radio for your partnership, for bringing this information to our listeners out there here in Nevada and beyond. Um, listen to us. I know that I'm going to um, be watching this over again through uh, Amazon Fire Stick uh, TV. You can now watch this on the TV set. Uh, in addition to podcasts with uh, HLB Radio, I, uh, iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. So, maraming salamat po. Uh, remember, listeners out there, every Monday is Healthy Monday. Aloha. The Asian American Pacific Islander Nurses Association of Nevada has just brought you Healthy Mondays with Apina of Nevada.